Being named the best in your sport is an honor to be treasured. Every year since 1961, U.S. Sailing has recognized outstanding performances in sailing. Rolex has proudly sponsored the Yachtsman and Yachtswoman of the Year Award since 1980. Rolex timepieces are the watch of choice for sailors all over the world. The honorees are presented with a new Rolex. Previous winners have included Olympic medalists, world champions, America's Cup winners, record setters, and around the world victors. While the disciplines in sailing are very different, the quest for excellence comes from within. I'll never forget my first day on the water when I was younger and my brother's Opti when he sailed me in from a regatta and I just thought being on the water I felt so free. My parents got a boat when I was around three years old and they were learning to sail and took me along for the ride. Just grew up on boats. Uh, my father had uh, a couple of boats including a 52-foot yawl. Everything I have in life I owe to sailing. I grew up here after school I came down to the Yacht Club and because I was here a lot I got to be a good sailor. My father crewed for Dennis so as a kid you know I'm hanging around Dennis all, all day and actually I started working on his boat so when I'm working on the boat I learned all types of stuff. Went in the sail making business because they had to do something to make a living having been fired that was the real reason. From the age of 18 to 28 I did a lot of racing with Tom. Those are the formative years you know I mean I knew how to sail but I didn't understand how to race. Rolex Award winners span a wide range of ages in a sport that demands total dedication. There's no wave that's ever the same, there's no puff that's ever the same. So you, it's not like going onto a basketball court and you say, okay, we're gonna run play three. We're always learning. I think that's a cool thing about the sport is every day go out on the water, we learn something new. I can think of the thrills of winning Olympic races, the thrill of uh, winning the America's Cup with Bill Koch was uh, extraordinary, uh, but I think uh, sometimes just the races at home. I sometimes fall asleep thinking about some of the fun races I've had. A strong mental attitude gives a sailor the edge over the competition. You can find yourself seventh at the first windward mark and you know maybe you feel the need to bang a corner or do something dramatic but actually if you just sail high percentage moves and stay consistent you'd be surprised how many people get out of your way. I like to think I was a good sport. I, I did it for pleasure not for uh, not for money. Whether it's a weekend regatta or whether it's a national championship, don't say no to a ride and develop a reputation of helping any boat you get on do better. Thanks to ever advancing technology, sailors are able to improve their performance. The best advice for aspiring champions is to embrace both the art and science of sailing. Today's generation is, is so talented and, and qualified and they're getting training far superior than we ever experienced in those days. To me, it's giving back and encouraging people to achieve their personal best. Hard work and skill will get you a long way. Skill alone won't. And so if you want something bad enough, you have to be willing to work for it and to make some sacrifices and to push yourself to limits that you don't really know about. Get it going All bit. champions learn from their mistakes and are able to overcome adversity. For a young sailor, what you learn is often more important than how you finish. You gotta keep an open mind and, and try things and be willing to make errors. You almost learn more from the races that you don't do well, and so, you know, when you have a bad day, you think, okay, well, that just gave me a lot of stuff to learn. Do your best, always be a good sport, carry yourself well on and off the water, never give up. You know, if you work hard enough and you put enough into it, I think you can raise your prospects and your level of competition to be able to make it to the Paralympics. There is great satisfaction when you reach your goal. Success inspires even greater achievement. You can take a lot away from it. That experience will stay with me forever. But I also think that if you stop having fun, then everything else becomes extremely difficult. You're at the pinnacle of something that you've been working at all your life. You know, sailing these stunning boats in the most beautiful, spectacular conditions. So I don't think there was a minute I regretted being there. To be the best at a sport or a job or, you know, a vocation or avocation just takes hard work, discipline, and a love for what it is that you're doing. I love competing. So as long as it's still fun, I'll, I'll keep coming back.